thank the Lord for all He has done. Every evening when I kneel to pray, I thank the Lord for another day. My dear parishioners and all the devotees of St. Jude, today, 28th of October, the church celebrates the feast of Saints Simon and Jude Tadeus, the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. This feast mass is offered for the souls of John Santos, Basha de Souza, and Santos family and all family souls for personal intention for the sale of property for sale of Andrew Miskita's property Thanksgiving Mass in honor of St. Jude for the good health of Sebastian family Thanksgiving Mass in honor of St. Jude by the St. Jude community Ekta Zone. And we also pray for all your intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ on the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, to celebrate the sacred mystery of God's love, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's forgiveness for all our sins. We celebrate today the feast of Saints Simon and Jude. So the feast of our Paris patron saint. So let us pray at this Eucharistic celebration through the intercession of Saint Jude. May all our families be blessed by God. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
O oh God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saints Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens and foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are a part of a building that has apostles and prophets for its foundation and Christ Jesus himself for its main core cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all grow into one holy temple in the Lord. And you too, in him, are being built into a house where God lives, in the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to you. God. A response for the psalm sh shall be, Their word goes forth through all the earth. Please repeat. Their, Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heaven proclaim in Proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work in his hands. Day unto day take up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Your response? Their, Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span goes forth through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bones of the world. The response? Their, Their word goes forth through all the earth. Please stand for the commission. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot. Judas, son of James, 
and Judas Iscariot who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People dominated by unclean spirits were also cured and everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that cured them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear parishioners, sisters and brothers of the devotees of St. Jude, today is the actual feast of St. Jude. Tadeus. St. Jude Tadeus is the patron saint of lost causes and desperate situations and hospitals. Who is this St. Jude? What do we know about him and of his life? First, St. Jude is the one of the twelve apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second, St. Jude is the cousin of our Lord Jesus Christ. St. Jude, whom we hear in the Gospels, appear in very few places in the Gospel. Now we have uh, the three Gospels, which are called Synoptic Gospels. For instance, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10 verses 1 to 4 we see Jesus called his 12 apostles Matthew names St. Jude as Tadeus and Mark Gospel of Mark chapter 3 verses 30 to 19 if you read again the call of the disciples by our Lord Jesus Christ, Mark also names as Tadeus. And in today's Gospel, Gospel of Luke chapter 6 verses 16 to 19, twelve to 19, Luke calls St. Jude. So, St. Jude has two names. St. Jude, Jude Tadeus. St. Jude in his life after Jesus rose from the dead, after he ascended into heaven, together with other apostles, he went out to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in the places of Galilee, Samaria and Judea. Together with St. Jude, we have one more apostle, Apostle Simon, the Zealot. These two went together to these places and they preached the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ after 
Jesus Christ in 35 in 40s. St. Jude in his life, he was very firm and he was very steadfast in his faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and his gospel. As St. Jude was preaching the gospel in the place of Mesonodomia and uh, other places, they persecuted the Christians. They persecuted the apostles who were preaching the gospel to the people and people who believed in the gospel and they were baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. All these people were persecuted. And when they came to St. Jude and they told St. Jude that you cannot preach in the name of Jesus Christ, stop your preaching to the people, St. Jude in return, he did not stop his preaching about, the, about Jesus and his gospel. He said that I would not give up my preaching of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do whatever you want to do, but I will not give up my faith. He was very firm and uh, he was uh, very strong in his faith that he was ready to give up, he was ready to sacrifice his life for, the, for his faith and for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. And my dear friends, the history of the church about St. Jude tells us that he was put to death finally for his faith and uh, for his love of Jesus Christ. And I told also on Sunday in the feast, in one place when Jesus was talking to the apostles, Saint Jude spoke to Jesus, Jesus, Master, why are you revealing about your son so much to us? Instead of revealing your son to us much, you can reveal yourself to the world. Because we know you, we are staying with you, we know more about you but the world does not know about you so you reveal yourself to the world so that they might believe in you and they may come to you and they may come to God in their lives so that's why Saint Jude is more concerned about the people he was always uh, others oriented in his life that's why we say Saint Jude always prays for people who have lost hope, people who are in desperate situations, people who are in great troubles and problems in their lives. St. Jude prays for these people, the hopeless peoples and people who are in distress and desperate conditions in their life. And as we celebrate the feast of Simon, and uh, Jude, the apostles, let us pray at this Eucharistic celebration for all of us, like these apostles, that we as Christians must be steadfast in our faith in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus, wherever he went, he asked the people, Do you believe in me that I am the Son of God? Do you believe that I can cure you? I can heal your disease? in your life and people openly they confess their faith you are the son of God you are the one who came down from heaven that you would cure our disease we believe in you and Jesus performed miracles and wonders people because people believe in Jesus so let us pray my dear brothers and sisters that uh, God may bless all our families through the intersections of Apostles Simon and Jude on this day as we celebrate their feast. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
by the mystery of this water and wine, we may share the divinity of Christ to our companion in some lovely mountain. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drain. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite of heart. Pray with your brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebrations of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand on apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending with all the host of angels we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out, as we are clean. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time, he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this, is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and also worldly gracious Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters for whom we pray at this Eucharist. who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, as we celebrate the feast of Apostles Simon and Jude, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and 
formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, the apostles, all of us, your people who are gathered here, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes Away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Spiritual Communion Prayer O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, Come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, and abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with your mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. My dear parishioners and all the devotees of St. Jude, as we celebrate the actual feast of our patron St. Jude today, I wish all your family members a very happy feast and may God bless you through the prayers and intersection of St. Jude. Let us pray. Oh, 
Having received the sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostles Simon and Jude. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles Simon and Jude make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. Amen. So that through the intercessions of the apostles Simon and Jude you may inherit the eternal homeland for by their teaching you possess the firmness of faith. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank be to God. Through the most powerful relics of St. Jude, may Almighty God bless all the people who are sick and all the duties of St. Jude and all of you in your family, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Apostle of Jesus, a martyr saint of all, the cousin of our Savior, of whom thy love had told, a writer of the scripture with tongues of fire your flame, worker of great wonders in Jesus' holy name, Saint Jude, we pray to you, your our prayers. Be a help, be a hope. Saint Jude, the forgotten, thou shalt remember be. We hail thee now in glory and have recourse to thee. Your help for the despairing when hope seems a task. And from the heart of Jesus to thee our favors us. Saint Jude, we pray to you. Your our prayers, be a help, be a hope. In sickness, strife, and sorrow, in fear and tempest proof, our confidence now strengthen and ask for grace is new. When crosses press our shoulders and fear is to dispel, then listen to our petition, sing Jude, oh, your our prayer, sing Jude. We pray to you, you're a prayer.